Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of the latest perfumes from Bulgari. This is called Bulgari Purom Eau de Parfum. So basically this is a new flanker for the Bulgari Purom Eau de Toilette which was uh, recently launched, so like in 2024. The bottle looks the same as the Eau de Toilette. I'll put the bottle for the Eau de Toilette here. It's basically the same bottle, just that it has more perfume oil inside, so Eau de Parfum. Um, if you'd like to learn more about it, I have here a sample which I got from a perfumery. So this is a Bulgari Purom Eau de Parfum sample. I got it when I purchased my Bulgari Men in Black Parfum. So I uh, asked this one so that I can try it, see if I like it and eventually also purchase one too. So this is a fresh citrusy scent. The perfumer behind it is Jacques Cavalier Belletrude, so the in-house perfumer from um, Louis Vuitton, also creates perfumes for Bulgari. So Tigar, one of my favorite scents in the world, is uh, his creation Imagination, which is a gift from my wife. He is also one of his creations. He's quite a busy perfumer and I'm very happy for him because he makes great creations and I was curious to see how will this be. So I will now uh, apply a bit on my skin and tell you how this is. So let's see. Let's apply well. This here is a very dense and concentrated scent, I can tell you that because it has 73 alcohol concentration. I was reading on the package, I don't know if I have a photo, maybe I will add a photo also when I'm editing. Naxos has 73% volume of alcohol, so that means high concentration of perfume. So if this is really an eau de parfum, it's at the highest level of eau de parfum with about 24-25% perfume oil, I would say. So let's see how it is. Hmm, it has such a gorgeous start. So in top notes you'll have ginger and Darjeeling tea. In hard notes Gayak wood and Ceylon tea. So a lot of tea notes, ginger, Gayak wood and in base notes Ambret seed and musk. If you look at the notes you might have the impression that this will be similar to imagination. Well, I will tell you in the next minutes uh, if it's similar to imagination or not. I am not sure how the other toilette was because I have not tried that one. I wasn't curious to try all the Bulgari perfumes, but this one is a very nice surprise for me. So I am um, right now very impressed by how nice and fresh and simple this scent is. So this Eau de Parfum from Bulgari right now is exactly what you would need in your collection if you want something simple, something fast to apply in the summertime and just go out and mind your own business without thinking too much what kind of event you will attend to or who you will meet or if it's offensive or not. This is great. This is how many people on YouTube called a dumb bridge. This is very easy and very pleasant. I get in the start, so in the top notes, I get a very nice kick of uh, ginger. So this nice uh, spiciness of the ginger is there, but it does not go towards imagination or tigar. This is uh, a scent which will develop into a bitter, green, slightly woody, well projecting professional scent. I think it's on the top uh, of uh, Eau de Parfum, so up to 25% of perfume oil is inside, which means that is very concentrated and you can feel it because this is very long lasting. Now let's go to the conclusion. What does this scent remind me of? Well, it's quite unique. I would say that is not like imagination. It gets very green while imagination stays citrusy sweet. It has a little vibe in the dry down after a few hours of the Bulgari Aqua Man Marine, Aqua Pur Man Marine, that uh, very nice turquoise bottle, but it's not a marine scent this one. It, it reminds me a bit of that one through this uh, bitter greenness that it has in the later stages when it dries down. 
What about longevity and sillage? Well, this is very, very good. Both longevity and sillage are very good. It projects quite a lot. I applied uh, a few times on the wrist in the perfumery. Uh, that was in the morning and it was staying with me until the later stages of the day. So in the evening, let's say, and it was projecting quite well. My wife doesn't like how this smells, but I do. And I think it's a very nice, clean, beautifully crafted office scent. If the eau de toilette had any issues, this doesn't have any. So if you liked the original um, Bulgari Purom eau de toilette and it was maybe too weak, this one here will solve that. I don't know if they smell similar because I didn't try that one, but this one here will perform. So per uh, longevity and sillage, great. What about versatility? I would say uh, it's extremely versatile. It can be worn in the office, going out, on a date, for business lunches. Uh, it has a professional, well-dressed and well-groomed uh, man. So from this regard, I don't know if this is exactly how also the, the toilet is. I will try it when I go next time to perfumery to try a little. But this one here, I like it very much uh, how it's created. So for a fresh citrusy scent, which is not not similar to the others that you find on the market, the Paco Rabans, the Aqua di Gios and so on, and it has its own character. That's a great thing done by uh, Jacques Cavalier Belletrud, so for this, thumbs up. What about seasons? I think this will shine in the warmer months, obviously. You can wear it dressed up, dressed down, in a t-shirt, in a shirt, with shorts, with um, casual pants. I think this is extremely versatile and it's very, very good for warmer months. I was wearing this in Barcelona at 16, 17 degrees Celsius. Uh, during the day and it was projecting quite well and I could feel it. So also for colder temperatures or so maybe spring, autumn, this will also be very and good. As a score, I will give it 8 out of 10. So this is an awesome uh, creation from Bulgari. If um, this smells like the Eau de Toilette, then the Eau de Parfum is definitely the choice because it performs very well and the price is not so high and it has a, a lot of uh, perfume oil inside. I don't score it higher because I'm not sure if I like it very much. This direction in which it goes with this bitter greenness, it's not my cup of tea. But that's just first world problems, guys. Please let me know in the comments below how do you like this uh, release from um, Bulgari. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Bye, guys.